Hebrews 6 Because God wanted to show his unchangeable purpose even more clearly to the heirs of the promise, he guaranteed it with an oath, so that through two unchangeable things in which it is impossible for God to lie, we who have taken refuge might have strong encouragement to seize the hope set before us. We have this hope as an anchor for our lives, our soul, safe and secure. It enters the inner sanctuary behind the curtain. Titus 1 Paul, a bond servant of God and an apostle of Jesus Christ, for the faith of those chosen of God and the knowledge of the truth which leads to godliness, in the hope of eternal life which God, who cannot lie, promised before time began, but at the proper time manifested his word in the proclamation with which I was entrusted according to the commandment of God our Savior. To Titus, my true child, in our common faith, grace and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Savior. The reason I left you in Crete was to set right what was left undone, and as I directed you to appoint elders in every town, one who is blameless, the husband of one wife, having faithful children, not accused of wildness or rebellion. For an overseer as God's administrator must be blameless, not arrogant, not hot-tempered, not addicted to wine, not a bully, not greedy for money, but hospitable, loving what is good, sensible, righteous, holy, self-controlled, holding to the faithful message as taught, so that he will be able both to encourage with sound teaching and to refute those who contradict it. For there are many rebellious people, empty talkers and deceivers, especially those of the circumcision from Judaism, who must be silenced because they overthrow whole families, teaching things they should not teach for the sake of sordid gain to get money dishonestly. One of their very own prophets said, Cretans are always liars, evil beasts, lazy gluttons. This testimony is true. For this reason, rebuke them severely so that they may be sound in the faith, not paying attention to Jewish myths and commandments of men who reject the truth. To the pure, all things are pure, but to those who are defiled and unbelieving, nothing is pure, but both their mind and their conscience are defiled. They profess to know God, but by their deeds they deny him, being detestable, disobedient, and worthless for any good deed.